Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. This is Taylor from the tradinganalyst.com. We're going to take a look at uh, a few trades that we've recently taken. And the reason I'm going to show you these trades is to show you our strategy and to teach you our strategy that's us consistent results. And hopefully it can do the same for your trading. So the first trade we're going to look at, um, as you can see, uh, these are our trades since uh, mid uh, February. We have about five or six open positions at this point in time uh, that are not listed on this uh, sheet. Um, but these are the trades that we've uh, closed out since mid-February. You can see most of them have been winners. And the couple of losers that we have here are very small in comparison to the winners. So that's how you have profitable trading. Very simple. You want your winners to be bigger than your losers and you want to have your winners be more frequent than your losers. Simple stuff. So let's take a look at these trades and I'll teach you the strategy. So the first trade we're gonna look at is Amazon, okay? We did a call spread position on this. This is a, if you're not familiar with spreads, it's very simple um, and it has the same, uh, this is a debit spread and it has the same objective as just buying uh, straight calls. So as the stock rises, this call spread makes money. Same as a call. As a call as the stock rises, a call gains in value. Same thing with a debit call spread, okay? So, um we took this position. I'll look at the chart for you guys. So, the strategy that we use here and we use this strategy on all of our trades. Every single trade that we take revolves around this one strategy. There are a couple of variations to this strategy, but it all revolves around what I'm going to show you today. Okay. So um, this is Amazon. Let me just zoom in here. So this is a false breakdown setup. A lot of people throw around the term false breakdown or false breakout, but a lot of time or most of the times uh, they're not talking about the same thing that we're talking about here. Okay, so false breakdown. We have a horizontal support. You can see, boom, 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 lots of touches. Here we go. We break that support right here on this day, all right? Break the support on this day, confirmed it the next day right here. So we're below that support, okay? So right now it's just a breakdown, okay? We have a support. And then we break the support, making this a breakdown. What makes it a false breakdown is when it reclaims this level like it did on this day right here. And that is where we entered our call spread position. And I alerted all of our paying clients uh, via text message that I'd enter that position. Not only that, but I had prepared members ahead of time with a video watch list. As soon as it broke the support, I put out a video um, talking about this support level and saying that if Amazon closed back above this level, we're going to enter calls, okay? And that just enables members to be prepared ahead of time. And it also helps you to learn about our process a lot more, okay? We're not just throwing out alerts. Um, we are teaching you guys um, throughout this entire process, just like I'm doing right now. So we have the support. We break the support, we break back over the support. That's the entry day right here when we reclaim that support. And our targets, the first target was this resistance level right about here, okay? You can see that it was resistance right here and there, here, here, and we sold our first half of the position right here, okay? Right at the high of, of this day right here. All right, and we held through this dip, and then we ended up selling the next half of the position up here, and I believe, yeah, it's a little bit lower. Right about there is where we sold that uh, next piece of that position, and that is based off of this next support level. You can see that it topped out here and right there, and you can see that topping wick right there is right where we sold. Right here on that day was the uh, second half of the position that we sold. Um, and again, we're not greedy here. Obviously, Amazon went higher 
Um, the idea of trading is not to catch the exact bottom or the exact top. If you know here, if you look here, we didn't catch the exact bottom. We got close, you know, because uh, the bottom was just very close by, but we didn't get the exact bottom. Just like over here, when we sold over here, we didn't get the exact top. And honestly, it looks like Amazon could uh, potentially head even higher than this, but that doesn't matter. We sell at our targets and we're not greedy. So you can see here's trade. We entered at about 12 bucks, sold at about 16.65 um, was the average price that we sold at. Um, and the gain here on these options was 37% and this portfolio gained $3,760. All right, that's the first trade. The next trade we're gonna cover is this Qualcomm uh, call trade. And this is um, just straight calls, uh, not a spread or anything like that. So we entered this position. I'll show you the chart. So this is another, if you guessed it right, false breakdown setup, all right? So here is, and this is a little bit different of a setup um, just because of the length of time um, that passed while we were underneath. Remember, Amazon was only underneath that support for like a day and a half, um, whereas Qualcomm uh, had the support and then it broke the support and was under it for about a month and a half. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So you can see a clearly defined support level with lots of hits, all right? We break that support level. And you can see when we broke that support level, we didn't just barely close below it and putter below it. No, we gapped below it, all right? Very clean break. So now it's just a break down, all right? No position yet. But we come up here, we come up here, and if you kind of zoom in a little bit, what I like about this is that we kind of traded sideways a little bit um, in this area right here before uh, breaking over that level. And it's actually a little bit lower. So we actually traded sideways a little bit um, before really breaking over it. Um, and I like that because it built up energy for this move higher that we saw, okay? So we entered on this day right here all right, no, on, I'm sorry, this day right here. This day right here, uh, we broke over that. Notice how we traded sideways and then we gapped over that level. Same thing as Amazon. If you look at Amazon, it didn't just close over it, it gapped up and had a strong day right there. All right, same thing with Qualcomm. Um, a little bit different, but pretty similar. We gapped up and closed over the previous several days highs all right and if you kind of back it up you can see it's that same level there and it broke over right there just that little candle right there all right and if you zoom in we ended up selling part of the position um right up here at these highs you can see that resistance you can see that it's a very clear level of resistance right here there there topping out um, and that's where we sold, I believe, on uh, this day right here. We sold um, part of the position on that day. And then we ended up selling, I believe, the next part of the position on this day right there. Um, we ended up selling part of that position because um, it, was a, it hit our trailing stop. Okay, we don't want to let uh, the second half of the position turn into um, a potentially losing trade. And you can see again here, uh, we entered uh, 415 is what we bought those contracts at. And again, uh, with my entries and exits, I'm texting you with my exact buy price. Not only that, but I'm preparing you ahead of time with a video watch list. So as soon as um, Qualcomm broke that support right here, so as soon as Qualcomm broke that support and I saw that setup, I made a video watch list and talked about this setup and said, if this closes back above that level, we're going to get long. We also have on the spreadsheet here, there's actually another um, sheet that I'm not gonna show you because it features our open positions and I don't share our open positions with anybody except paying clients. 
but on that open positions list um, is also our written watch list. So you have a written watch list as well as a video watch list that details the um, details of the potential trade. Okay, so again, with Qualcomm, we entered at 415, sold for an average price of 570 for a just over 37% gain for a $3,700 um, gain. So the next one we're going to look at, um, and this is a losing trade. Don't worry, losses happen. It's a part of trading. All right. So uh, let's take a look at this. Um, Disney 215, 319. All right. So this was the trade here on Disney. So uh, let me see here. I'm going to zoom over so you can see that. Okay, so this is the trade here on Disney. We bought uh, on this day here, on this gap up. And the reason was because of a false breakdown setup. You can see support is there, there, there. Lots of hits, lots of hits. And then we break below it right here for just a couple of days. Very similar action to um, Amazon. Um, and it closed over um, the level right here, okay, on this day, but it just barely closed over it. So I said the day before this breakout happened, I put out a video um, telling my members that this was not a strong enough close, but if we get any kind of a gap up or a break of um, today's high, that's going to be the long signal. So we ended up entering right here at the break of this high on this day okay so we got in before it blasted off right there and uh, we ended up selling uh, part of the position uh, right here at our first target uh, that's based off of this little resistance uh, right there so we sold part of that um, position um, for a profit and we held through all of this and held through this and then we sold here um, when these lows uh, were breached let me draw this right here we sold when these lows were breached okay we got our first signal that this trend might be kind of uh, over on this gap down and i mentioned that if we break this low we're going to sell that position so we ended up selling the position um, right around here and that ended up being an 8% total loss. Remember, we sold half of the position um, for, uh, for a gain, and then we sold the other half of the position for a loss, for an average loss of 8%. Again, we keep our losses very small, all right? And we keep our risk very tight. Uh, the next trade that we're going to take a look at is T, AT and t all right? So let's take a look here. So AT and T false breakdown setup. So another thing that I kind of want to point out: this was not where we entered this trade, but um, this particular trade. Okay, um, but here's another false breakdown setup. Here's that uh, support, 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 support break that support, and then head it higher over there, okay? Um, I forget the reason we did not take this um, trade right here, but there was a reason that we didn't take that trade. Um, I forget if there was an earnings or something like that. Oh yeah, I think this was earnings right here, and earnings was a little bit too close um, for us to, to take that trade. I don't like to hold through earnings, so if it's anywhere close to happening, um, then we won't take uh, that trade. So anyways, I just kind of wanted to show you um, that this actually, this false breakdown setup started the bottom here, okay? 29 to 32.50 is that high that we reached recently, okay? Anyways, so the trade that we took um, was right here, and we ended up, uh, you can see this support, 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 lots of touches, 
Okay, we break the support on earnings right here on some heavy volume. But if you notice, and let me go like this. Okay, so, and if you notice, we broke the support, heavy volume, and it never really headed lower after that. We just had this one day and then sideways trading. So I was looking for a potential breakout. And again, I made a video watch list um, and prepared members ahead of time so you know exactly what to expect. It's also on the written watch list on the uh, spreadsheet that I showed you earlier. So um, we entered into calls on this day right here. We took partial profits um, up here at this high right there. You can see it was resistance there. Oops, wrong way. And you can see it was resistance there, there, here, and that is why we took partial profits right there. All right. And we exited um, the next uh, piece of that position. We held through all of this and then we ended up selling the next half of the position right here at that same resistance point. Um, and that's just because uh, theta was um, getting a little bit too strong and you don't want to hold options for very long. So yes, we had it higher, um, but we like to trade very conservatively here at the tradinganalyst.com um, because you know this is hard-earned money, this is my hard-earned money, this is your hard-earned money, um, and I don't want to sit through a potential um, loss. So theta was getting a little too strong. We don't hold positions for more than uh, a month, and it was getting to uh, just over a month. So we wanted to sell that position so that theta didn't ruin this trade for us. And you can see that the total gain on this trade um, was just over 12%. Nothing exciting there, um, but definitely better than um, a losing trade, that's for sure. So um, those are all the trades that I'm going to be covering in this video. I'm going to make another separate video um, just so you don't have to sit through all of these uh, trades. Um, but I'm going to make a separate video covering all of these other trades and the setups so that you can learn um, and develop your skills with this strategy um, even more. So if you like this video and you thought it was helpful and you'd like to make winning trades like this on a consistent basis, you can see we win most of our trades um, and the times that we don't win the trades, um, that the losses are very small right there and right there, very small losses. Um, and you can see the wins outnumber the losers. And we do this on a consistent basis. This isn't some hot streak we're on. Um, we do this day in and day out. Um, and we're patient here. And you can see that, you know, we don't take a ton of trades since the middle of February. So in the last, what is it? Uh, almost two months, we've had, what is this? Uh, 10 trades that have closed out. Again, we have about five or six open positions at this point in time um, that are probably going to be closed out pretty soon. Um, so we'll have about 15 trades in the course of uh, that two-month period. So we're very patient. We don't take trades just to take trades. We're not out here gambling. Um, we are highly selective in our trades. So if that sounds good to you, if you want to make um, high uh, probability trades with a high chance for success on a consistent basis, month after month, quarter after quarter, year after year. We're not talking about getting rich overnight. We're talking about building and growing an account um, over time. And you can see here, I'll just scroll up and you can see here right here you can see our average this is our um, total um, uh, spreadsheet where it tracks all of our trades up here and you can see that our average win is almost double the size of our average loss and you can see here the total gains here and this is since july of 2017 so in the last about eight eight months um, our portfolio that tracks all of our trades that we've taken here and alerted to members in real time is up almost $230,000, all right? And this is tracking every single trade that we make, the winners, the losers, everything is put here um, on this portfolio tracker. 
um, it starts our way of uh, being 100% completely transparent with you. So if that sounds good to you, um, you want to make consistent trades, and you want to have these trades delivered to you in real time via text message, and you want to be prepared ahead of time for these alerts um, with a video watch list and a written watch list, and you want to actually learn the process that goes behind these trades, then sign up today um, for our membership and you can start making winning trades right away. I hope to see you in there.